Oh god! <laughs> my light. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Colton and I am no longer a flight attendant. Today I figured I would just turn on the camera, have a cute little chit chat as to what has been going on in my life because I have been getting so many messages of confused people wondering what on earth I'm doing because I am not posting on Instagram about my flying experience anymore. So, I'm here to tell you what the deal is. For those of you that have been following me for quite some time now, you would know that I actually already posted a video with a similar title in the past. I think it was titled, I'm No Longer a Flight Attendant with WestJet Encore. And in this case, I was a flight attendant with WestJet Encore and I gave him my notice and became a flight attendant with Air Canada Mainline. So I just switched companies. Um, however, this time I am no longer a flight attendant and that's it, that's all. I'm not going to another uh, airline to be a flight attendant and I gave in my wings on February 6th, so that was my last official day with Air Canada. As of right now, I am working for Bearskin Airlines as a gate agent and I was also a gate agent for Sunwing, but that was only seasonal, it was just a seasonal contract for the winter months. However, that contract was cut short due to obvious reasons <laughs> that I'm sure everyone is kind of sick and tired of hearing about now. So that contract with Sunwing is done, it finished early, and I am now currently just working for Bearskin Airlines as a gate agent. Now I do post things to my story on Instagram, so I've received many messages from all of you, and I am increasingly surprised and a little bit overwhelmed as to as to how almost disappointed a lot of you are. I do understand that there is a huge fan base in aviation, um, but the way I've received some messages, it almost seems like, well, if you're not going to be a flight attendant, then what else is there to do? <laughs> um, and I found this very curious. So let me just give you a background story as to why I got into aviation in the first place and where my future plans are going now. For those of you that don't know, I actually went to university and I got a Bachelor of Science degree in biology and I was fully planning to go the healthcare route and I still am. Right after I finished my Bachelor of Science degree in biology, I did apply for naturopathic medical school and I did get accepted. Um, that could be a totally different video for those of you that are interested in the healthcare realm. However, um, although I did get accepted, the thing in Canada with naturopathic medicine is it's not as recognized, it's not as mainstream, so it's very difficult to get the loans that you need in order to go to school. So in a nutshell, there is conventional medicine, which most people would think of as the only medicine if they're not informed in the healthcare realm. Um, after you finish your degree, you are an MD, so Mike Delta, MD, uh, medical doctor, but you could also do naturopathic medicine, and when you're done that for your degree, you would be considered an ND, a naturopathic doctor. In addition, there's also veterinary medicine, there's also chiropractic medicine, um, there's osteopathic medicine. However, I don't think that you can become, I don't think you can do a doctorate degree in osteopathy in Canada, although for those of you that are well-versed in the healthcare realm, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I think you can only be a DO in the States. So I was going the naturopathic route and I got accepted to school and everything. However, since it's not mainstream um, or recognized enough, I just couldn't get the full loan that I needed. In Canada, for our education system, it costs quite a bit of money. Um, not like the States by any means, but just to give a quick example. So if, um, Conventional medicine and naturopathic medicine to go to school it costs just about the same amount of money Each year you're paying 20 to 25 thousand just in tuition. So For the first year if you're considering it being twenty five thousand dollars a year You're paying a hundred thousand dollars just for your tuition for the four years um, So when you go to the bank you need a loan basically that will bring you all throughout school, pay for your tuition, also kind of pay for your living expenses um, because it's very difficult to work in that setting. So just to give you a little comparison, during my undergraduate degree, um, you know, you take five courses per semester um, with a total of 10 courses typically in a year. With naturopathic medicine, my first year was scheduled at 20 courses. So it's almost double what you'd be doing in an undergraduate degree. So it's just very 
it would be very difficult to try to get a job um, on the side to try to help pay. So you're basically just relying solely on the student loan, the bank loan. So with that being said, the bank only offered me $100,000 and I just couldn't accept it because I would only cover my tuition and I just couldn't think of a way to make it work. So I had to cancel my acceptance, which is fine. Um, for what I want to do in the future, I can take many different pathways. So that was just one way of getting to my goal. Um, so it wasn't the end of the world for me. <laughs> so I canceled my acceptance in the summer before I was supposed to be starting and at that point it was just too late to apply back to schools for my plan B so I basically had to start working in order to pay off my undergraduate debt so I was either going to be um, will try to be a scientist at the science center in um, in a city close by or I was going to teach English abroad I was very close to doing that or I was going to become a flight attendant in the meantime to start paying my loans. So it just so happened that I got the flight attendant interview first and the rest is history. I spent two years flying and it was a great two years. However, my passion is in healthcare and that is where I'm, you know, it's where I'm shooting for right now. With that being said, I've applied back to school. Um, the difference is I didn't apply to medical school, rather I applied to nursing school. So I applied to that for this upcoming September, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm just waiting on my acceptance as of now. But of course with the current pandemic, um, who knows when these acceptances are going to come out, who knows when the schools are, are going to resume. Um, so we're just kind of waiting on, on that front. With that being said, my goal, I think, is to become a nurse practitioner in the future. And with that, I can own my own practice, which is what I've been wanting to do this entire time, is own my own practice and offer multiple services. So things like massage therapy, chiropractic medicine, naturopathic medicine. Um, I'll have my own conventional medicine as a, uh, as a nurse practitioner. I can um, work autonomously. Um, so there's just a lot of positives about going that route and with a nursing degree you can do so many things. You don't um, have to become a nurse practitioner right when you can. You can uh, go on contracts way up north, um, you can help in, in the, on the reserves in northern Canada, you can uh, do humanitarian aid which I think is what I'll probably do with my partner um, since he still works for Doctors Without Borders so I might apply there as well and we'll do a contract together. Um, so there are just so many opportunities um, with being a nurse and I think that it is just right for me but we will see if I get accepted to the school. <laughs> kind of need to get accepted first. So like I said, in the meantime, I'm currently a gate agent for Bearskin Airlines and I'm just waiting to see if I get accepted or not and we will go from there. But that is where I'm standing currently. Um, I hope this has brought some some clarification because I know a lot of people were confused. I was getting tons of messages on Instagram and um, now I've finally come up with a video explaining why I've switched um, jobs and where my plans are for the future. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and push that bell notify icon. This way you are notified every time I come up with a video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!